Okay. Welcome, everyone, to another episode of the Intellectual Saviors of Wrestling with your hosts, the Master of the Brain Damage, Martin, and the one and only Sam H. And this is your SmackDown Live review on the 11th of October. You must stress, it is live. Yeah, if you didn't get from the, the graphics... Multiple, <laughs> multiple hints from us. <laughs> it's like, for, it is live. So, yeah, so we kicked off the show with... Dolph Ziggler showing off his new piece of silverware. Yes, thank God. <laughs> and he's already done more with it in these ten minutes than Miz had done in the last six months. Yes. Of course, unfortunately, we couldn't go too long with a Dolph interacting with the crowd and we inevitably got treated to the presence of the Miz and Maurice. And they were all dressed in black and they had black shades on that and they just come in the ring, just stood there in silence and then the Miz would say, oh, you know, you're not going to save him? And the Miz just trying to say, oh, hush, we're, we're, holding a, we're holding a moment of silence for the Intercontinental Championship. <sighs> so that then evolved and then again, predictably, the Spirit Squad got brought down and then it got turned into a handicap match. <sighs> Wonderful. Yes, so uh, I'm happy to report, though, Dolph Ziggler won that handicap match. (laughs) Shouldn't have had much trouble with him. Uh, Kenny Dykstra and Mickey. Oh, God, fat, bald Mickey. (laughs) So, yeah. (coughs) That was the end of that one. (laughs) Yeah, we need Johnny back. (laughs) Oh, Mitch. Oh dear. So yeah, and then uh, we went backstage to Daniel Bryan and Shane McMahon. And they've issued a challenge to Monday Night Raw. Yeah, for three separate Survivor Series matches. Yep, yeah. we've got a typical Survivor Series five-on-five match. What's the other matches we got going on? Well, there's SmackDown's five women against Raw's five women. Yep. And the return... SmackDown's going to get their ass kicked. <laughs> and the return of a classic tradition. Uh, five tag teams on each side. Survivor mm, Series wow. match. That's going to get messy. Which I think is the first time it's been done since 1990. So yeah, so uh, good luck to some of the tag teams you're finding <laughs> going to be getting some television time. Yes, we're looking at you, <laughs> shining stars, the Vaud villains, <laughs> the Ascension, <laughs> the Hype Bros, Golden Truth. Oh man! <laughs> so yeah, there's, that was that. There's going to be so much dross in that match. Yes. Yeah. And then uh then we had a women's singles match. We had Naomi versus Carmella. Yeah, they did a little backstage thing before this. They were interviewing Nikki Bella over a victory. And she got attacked again. From behind by Carmella. For about the seventh or eighth week in a row. <laughs> Oh, yeah, uh, the match was okay. Admittedly, I wasn't too interested in this match. I wasn't paying much attention. But yeah, if they want to sort of damage some of the characters' credibility anymore, they're they're doing a fine, good job of it. Carmella lost <laughs> to Naomi, Ooh. so uh, Naomi's picking up uh, quite some momentum. She beat the number one contender. For the women's championship at uh, No Mercy. Which is now beaten Carmella as well. Yep. And then we had a bit of bitchy catfight stuff afterwards. And Nikki tried to come in and attack Carmella. And Carmella ended up running off yeah. through the crowd. Woo. Yep. Ah, <laughs> oh, and then here's one I was looking forward to. We got one half of... Gangster Uzo. Oh, God. 
We had Jimmy Uzo. The most feared object of pain in the WWE. <laughs> Jimmy Uzo. Against Chad Gable. Oh, finally, a good wrestler. Yeah. Yeah, the match was... Uh, yeah, it was all right. Didn't particularly go on for very long, but uh, Jimmy Uzo stole the victory from Chad Gable. Yeah, how the ref didn't exactly see this one. No, uh, obviously try and picture this in your heads. But yeah, basically Jimmy had rolled up Chad by the turnbuckle and then Jay just leant into the ring and lent his feet against Jimmy's back. <laughs> yeah, and that gave him enough pressure to get the three count. Yeah. And then, strangely enough, didn't Heath and Rhino came down and ran and make the save? Yeah. What the hell? Heath Slater coming out for the save. Yeah, so I suppose that will... Escalate or something or other. Oh, yeah. uh, who knows? Maybe. Uh, let's get on to my least favourite part of the show. I don't care why anyone says this segment was utter garbage. Yeah, pretty much. Utter, utter garbage. AJ Styles came out to address the crowd to uh, basically gloat about his victory the night before. Yeah. He was still the face that runs the place and the champ that runs the camp. Yeah, I didn't notice that Cena buggered off again. Yes, yes, he was nowhere to be seen this week. So yeah, and then uh, obviously this inevitably brought out Dean <coughs> Ambrose. He had a few choice words for him because uh, AJ said that uh, he'd be fighting someone tonight. Yep, it's not Dean. Yeah, Dean come out, he said, no, 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 it's not you, Dean. And then, who other than James Ellsworth made an appearance? Yeah, the man with no neck. Yeah. Was it no chin? I don't know. Yeah, no chin. Yeah, that's what. Yeah, he said that a couple of weeks ago he was going to be his tag partner, but he got absolutely destroyed by the Miz. <laughs> Bit embarrassing. Yeah. And he was going to give him a shot. Yeah. And then somehow, Dean Ambrose wangled into being the guest referee. Yep, Daniel Bryan came out and said, No, Ambrose, you, you're not going to actually be in the match. You're going to be the special referee. Yeah. And then, of course, predictably, as hopefully you've already guessed it, the match was ridiculously one-sided. <laughs> yeah, just the... Despite the beating that James Ellsworth took. Yeah, and predictably in the end, AJ got hit with two dirty deeds and James Ellsworth picked up the victory against AJ Styles. Yeah, I mean, this is reminds me <coughs> of about 10 years ago when Batista interfered and caught Triple H to win. Oh, you mean when Jim Ross, I beat the game. Yeah, <laughs> that, that specific match. <laughs> <laughs> We've been hearing about it ever since. <laughs> I'll be the game king. What's your record like? <laughs> oh, God. Not good. <laughs> uh, no, no, this was it didn't really make any sense. Yeah, and it was it was just too predictable rather than comical for my own liking. But yeah, I mean, as soon as you saw Dean Ambrose get made referee, you knew what was going to happen. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. So, uh, but the rumour is they're leading up to another Ambrose Star Wars match at Survivor Series. Okay. So, I'm guessing this is where they're going for a while. Dean still isn't getting a very good crowd reaction at the moment. No, he's not. Uh, they need to do some work on that. And then in true Teddy Long style... We had a tag team match player oh. for the main event. Uh, apparently, Kane and Randy Orton are friends now. Yeah. <laughs> they, they did a whole backstage thing where Randy went up to Kane and was like, yeah, I need your help on this one. Hmm. And Kane agreed. Yeah. So uh, they would be facing off against Bray Wyatt 
and the returning Luke Harper. So we'll just all forget about Kane kidnapping Randy's dad a couple of years ago. Yeah. And Randy putting Paul Bear in a meat locker. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, it's all been forgiven. It's all over. All yeah. good. Water under the bridge. <laughs> Literally. Oh, man. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, the match was okay. I think we were all mystified at Randy Orton and Kane team, teaming together. Yeah, it was strange. <laughs> so, yeah. But unfortunately for Randy, Bray got one over him again. Again? Yeah, this is the, got near the end of the match and we had the whole predictable black, black screen thing. Uh, uh-uh, dead. And when the lights came back on, Kane had vanished. Yeah. And it was Luke Harper standing on the apron reaching for the tag. Very good. Yeah, so... <laughs> The mind games continue to taunt Randy. Randy walked round, straight into Sister Abigail. <coughs> that was all she wrote, folks. And for the second time in a couple of days, Bray gets the win. Yeah. Don't screw this up now. <coughs> well, love of God, don't screw it up. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. So then that was the end of the show. And just a quick one to note, uh, well, one of the highlights from uh, Talking Smack was uh, Daniel Bryan announced the main event for next week on SmackDown Live. Oh dear. We would have the WWE Championship on the line. AJ Styles versus James Ellsworth. What? Oh man. <laughs> Uh, Daniel was impressed with him and he was like, you know what? You deserve a shot at the top. God damn it. He's going to get his ass kicked. Yes. Yes, he is. <laughs> and uh, If you haven't seen Talkin's Mac, I would watch it, especially for the end where the Wyatts interfere and Daniel Bryan vanishes. <laughs> oh. He's got a habit of making people disappear. Yeah. Just, just for the last three minutes of... Luke Harper and Bray just chatting amongst themselves. Complete gibberish. It makes very little sense, but it's hilarious nonetheless. Hmm. And one more thing to add. We did not get the advertised debut of Kurt Hawkins. Uh, Yes, apparently the excuse was the segments for the show ran on for too long. So we're waiting yet another week for the hotly anticipated debut we've been waiting for. Uh, they need to get on it soon because Kurt Hawkins is a great wrestler and I'm happy to see him back mm. not happy they changed his music but happy to see him back yeah so plenty to ponder for the next couple of weeks and can James cause possibly the greatest of upsets and become the WWE champion not a hope in hell if he does, I will eat my flat cap. <laughs> All right, bloody hell, that was a quick review. That does it for SmackDown this week. Fourteen minutes. Christ, I watched it. Yeah. Okay, well there we go. That's it. <laughs> From your hosts, the master of the brain damage. I've been Martin, and the one and only Sam H. We will catch you again for the next one. And peace out. Arrivederci. Yeah, that too.